Retro Night Gaming here. Um, I'm going to do a very brief video. I'm going to show you what you need to change in uh, RPCS3, in the PS3 emulator, in order to um, play with your Sindon Light Gun on Time Crisis Raising Storm. All right? So from the main menu, we're going to hit F1. That's going to bring up the file manager. You're going to need a keyboard and mouse, of course. Um, you're going to be going into Applications, and you're double, going to double-click on RPCS3 Config. Okay, give it a minute to load. What we're going to be doing for Raising Storm is we need to trick um, the PS3 emulator into thinking that our Sindon is a PS Move, because that is what that game was originally played with, which was PS Move. So scroll all the way down. This is my 8-terabyte build, so it has over 180 PS3 games on it. Um, I'm going to go down to Time Crisis Raising Storm. All right, so we're going to right-click on it, and we're going to select Change Custom Configuration. All right, from there, um, we will click on I.O., and we're going to set it up exactly like this. This is exactly how um, I set it up. What you will change when it's set to default, there's quite a few things here that need to be changed. You change camera input to PSI. You change camera handler to fake. You change move handler to gun. And you're going to click on the camera. And as long as your send -in is plugged in, you'll see your send -in right here. Um, right now, this is my send -in with a, a camera B in it. So... Uh, whichever you send in you have plugged in, select that. All right. Once that is done, you're going to scroll down here and you're going to click Apply. And then you're going to click Save Custom Configuration. All right. So check these settings one more time. Camera Input PSI, Camera Handler Fake, Camera Set to Send in Cam. Whichever camera your send in has in it, it will show up there when you click the drop down menu. And then Move Handler Gun. Leave all the rest set as is. Click Apply, and then Save Custom Configuration. And that's it. Once that's done, click File, Exit, click File again, Close Window, and then you're back here at the main menu. And the only thing you'll need to do is calibrate before you play each game. Um, Time Crisis Raising Storm, in order to move through some of the menu items, um, you'll need a keyboard for that, the cursor keys. But then all the selecting and moving back and such will be done with the buttons on your Send and Light Gun. Primarily the, uh, the two front buttons on either side. Um, I cover individual calibration setup for each game in my uh, how-to document, which is currently available in my Facebook group, Retro Night Gaming. And it also be available on my support page, RetroNightGaming.com forward slash support under the Batacera PC Guides section. So look for that either place. Join my group. We have a lot of fun there. I have weekly um, arcade high score contests where we people have win real prizes. Um, I give weekly um, game recommendations. Check out arcade games you've never thought of playing before. And um, we have a lot of fun there. So join my Facebook group and uh, go ahead and follow these instructions to get Time Crisis Raising Storm to play on your Batacera PC build. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.